Installation of Roxtech CF8 BGB and CF32 BGB. To install the CF8 BGB or 32 BGB, you need the frame, one compression unit for the CF8, or two for the CF32, fasteners, ground lug, CMBGB modules, and Roxtech lubricant. Clean the surface around the opening to ensure electrical conductivity between the frame and the structure. Insert the frame from the outside and the counterframe from the inside. Tighten the nuts and secure the ground lug to the lug of the enclosure. Clean the frame, removing paint and dirt to ensure good electrical conductivity. Use eye protection when preparing the cables. If you use metal clad or tech cable, Mark on the cable where the outer sheath is to be removed. Then remove the outer sheath as well as any protection tape or plastics. On the armor, mark a length that matches the braid section of the module. The armor must be visible outside the module after installation. Cut the cable armor. If required, fit an anti-short bushing at the end cut. Make sure that the armor extends beyond the edge of the module. If you use SWA cables, there are two alternatives for preparation. You can either finish the end of the cable armor with a piece of cable sheath or with shrink tube. If you intend to finish the armor with cable sheath, make two marks on the cable corresponding to the braid section of the module and cut the outer sheath at both marks. Save the short piece and remove excess sheath. Mark where to cut the armor and cut it. Slide the loose piece of cable sheath so that it covers the end of the armor. The exposed armor is to accommodate the whole braid section of the module. Make sure that the short piece of cable sheath is completely outside the module. If you intend to finish the armor with shrink tube, mark precisely where to cut the outer sheath and cut it accordingly. Then mark where to cut the armor. It must extend beyond the module to support the shrink tube. Cut the armor. Cover the end with a piece of shrink tube. Use a hot air gun to shrink the tube. Make sure that the shrink tube is completely outside the module. To continue the installation, remove the core and fold out the braid of the modules that are to hold cables or pipes. Adapt outer layers to the cable or pipe diameter by peeling off layers from each module half. The halves must not differ by more than one layer. Adapt inner layers of both module halves to the cable screen, armor, or pipe. The halves must not differ by more than one layer. Fold the braid tightly inside the module.
there must be a 0.1 to 1 millimeter gap between the module halves when fitting the cable. Lubricate the frame areas that will be in contact with the rubber of the modules, especially in the corners. Avoid excess lubricant on areas in contact with the braid. Feed the cables through the opening. Even pre-terminated cables can easily be inserted. Lubricate all modules thoroughly on the inside and outside. Avoid excess lubricant on the braid. Insert the module halves around the cables from the inside of the opening and push them towards the outer edge of the frame. Make sure that the braid is in contact with the armor. You may pre-compress the system with the CF pre-compression tool and the Roxtech pre-compression wedge. Lubricate the compression unit on all sides. Insert it from the inside of the opening until stop. Tighten the compression unit to seal the frame. Check that the ground lug is correctly installed. Reinstallation. It's easy to add a new cable. Decompress the compression unit. Prepare the new cable according to the instructions for metal clad or SWA cable. If required, fit an anti-short bushing at the end of the armor. Take out a spare module, remove the core, and fold out the braid. Adapt outer layers to the cable diameter and inner layers to the cable screen or armor. Fold the braid tightly inside the module. Make sure that there is a 0.1 to 1 mm gap. Feed the new cable through the frame. Lubricate thoroughly and then reinstall the module. Tighten the compression unit.